This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 201. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. Put one in the comments. I'm on I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. So all my OG members, put OG in the comments if you've been with me for a while. All my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Listen, today I'm talking about win, worth, why. Win, why, worth, however you wanna say it. Inspired by my twin, Cornelius Jones Jr. and by my Booking Magnet Academy members. Shout out to all of you. Hey, Marilee, hey, Zeri, hey, Positively Re, hey, Sarah. So listen, I'm a little emotional right now. I'm really proud of myself for not doing the ugly cry. But um, today was the last, our last call, our last Q&A call for my Booking Magnet Academy. Um, as it has been. It's been a membership for the past couple of years. Hey, Deshaun Moore, I see you. Um, and um, it's been around for a couple of years and some of my members have been there from the beginning. Oh, I feel a tear trying to come up now. We're not doing that right now. Listen, I'm trying to keep it together for a few more minutes. I figured I had makeup on, why not do another video? <laughs> um, but seriously, you know, it was a, everything grows, everything changes. And, um, as I was ending the call, you know, I had I had the pleasure of having dinner with my my friend who I call my twin, Cornelius, last night, and this is how I ended my Booking Magnet Academy session tonight. And thinking about what we want for 2020, what we want for our careers, what we want for this new decade, and really being very aware and very conscious of um, our time, the thing that we cannot get back, like. And being in this industry, there's so many things that can pull us. We can have shiny object syndrome and people will say, do this job for this exposure and, and oh, you got to work with this person. Or, I know it doesn't pay or I know it doesn't pay much or, and it can just leave you feeling like, what should I do? And um, you don't want to miss out on an opportunity. And Lord knows I've done my share of free gigs. I've done my, my favors. I've done coffee sessions, pick your brain sessions. And what got clear to me and my friend last night when we were talking, he was sharing a story with me. Irene Cooper says, yeah, that's so true. Absolutely. We were talking and I asked him a question about a situation he was in. And I said, I said, do you know the when, the why, and the worth? And so I'm sharing that with you tonight. So anything, it could be hanging out with a friend. It could be a job you're thinking about taking. It could be a gig you're thinking about accepting something you maybe have booked. Even when I get bookings on, on, on auditions from my manager, my agent, I ask myself, what's the win here? Like outside of a check, and if I just need to check, then that's the win. But if I'm kind of discerning, I can say, what's the win? Well, the win would be I get to share the screen with uh, Shamar Moore or Angela Bassett or Meryl Streep. That's a win, right? Okay. Even beyond the money, because don't be don't confuse a win with just equating it to dollars, right? Because a win could be like, no, I get to share the screen with with insert name here. Oh my gosh, that's worth it, right? So then we come to the I might be mixing these around. You can say it however you want. Win worth why, why worth win, however you want to say it, as long as it hits all of them. And so you could go to, okay, well, why do I want to do this? Well, I want to do it because like this will really stretch me. I really like the people I'm going to be working with, or I really like this person who invited me out, whatever it is. But you got to know the why, because the why will guide you into doing the next thing. You've ever been invited somewhere or to go to an audition or to do a job and you, something in your heart, something in your spirit is like, ugh, ugh, I don't, ugh, I'm going to do it because I promised so-and-so, or I'm going to do it, but you're, it's not really in you, right? So that's my whole thing. Know what the why is. And then lastly, what is the worth? What is this worth to you? What is it bringing to your life? How does it benefit you in any way? So like, those are the things to question. So sometimes people will want to hook up with me, but I'm like, okay, what's the win, the worth, and the why? What is it worth to me? What's the win here? And why am I doing this again? Because when you find yourself in a situation and you don't have the answers to those questions, then you're irritated. Then you're mad. Then you're like, I could have been doing anything else. I could have been painting my walls in my apartment or my house. But when that's clear, that really helps you. Like I've been offered auditions sometimes for projects and I'm like, like I'm not in the stage anymore where I needed to take any gig. I used to be. 
I was in a, what I call stacking season where you're like, hey, give me anything. One line, two lines, I'll take it. I remember being there and that was so helpful for me. But then you elevate and you graduate and then you're like, I don't have to do everything because now I'm very much more aware of my, my type, my essence, what I'm offering the community, what I'm offering the industry, what I want to do next. How does this gig lead to my next gig? Does this gig serve the bigger vision of where my career is headed? Beyond a check, does it serve the bigger vision? So if more people in power see me doing this gig, how does that serve me? Does it serve me or hurt me? Right? So that's that big why and the worth. So in the way they're kind of the same in a way that they're kind of different. So I just wanted to pop on and just give you that little nugget on this Sunday evening. Um, and again, for those of you who are in my Booking Magnet Academy world and weren't able to make the live call tonight, I love you. I'm sending all my good energy to you. I just figured, let me just pop on while I had a few more minutes before I totally exhale on this Sunday night. It's 5.39 p.m. Pacific, but it feels like it's 12 a.m. This whole getting dark early, I literally am like, should go back to sleep. And I'm like, Christine, it's not even 6 p.m. But it's dark. <laughs> it's confusing my brain. <laughs> I'm confused by this darkness. Darkness, everybody. Darkness. All right, everybody. Good night. Have a great time uh, with your family, friends, or watching Netflix and chilling on a couch. I will see you soon. Have an amazing week. Be intentional. Set your goals for the week. Set your intentions for the rest of this year because we will blink. It'll be 2020. I want you to be ready. I want you to be inspired so that you can take inspired action. Good night.